begins with breaking news. A small plane made a hard landing right in the middle of a busy I-5 freeway. Southbound lanes, they were backed up for miles as crews tried to move the plane off the road. This all happened on the 5 South, just south of Tamarack Avenue. Drivers stopped to try to help the pilot and the passenger. 10 News reporter Anthony Pura is live on the 5 freeway. And Anthony, somehow no one was hurt in all of this. Yeah, it's really just amazing that no one was hurt in this. You can see the plane behind me here, and they are working to remove it from the freeway right now. Firefighters on scene commending the pilot tonight on how they maneuvered this plane to put it down where it is right now. It's never a good sight to see a plane in the middle of the freeway, but firefighters say there were so many things that could have happened tonight, and this could have been so much worse. A close call on Interstate 5. This video from a driver passing by just moments after firefighters say a Cessna did a nosedive into the center divider. 911. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay. We're, okay. No injury. Okay. You sure? Yeah. You guys all right? Hello? Yes. The pilot coming out of the plane unscathed after putting down the plane without hitting any cars in one of San Diego County's busiest freeways. Another video from another driver passing by. This one taken as the first emergency crews began to arrive. He said he lost uh, power and he came down. Firefighters say a man and a woman were in the plane. They dealt with smoke in their cockpit moments before the plane went down. There is damage to the front of the plane, but both pilot and passenger are okay. There's a lot to be thankful, so they'll be enjoying their holidays with their family. So uh, the skill uh, of that pilot, uh, he, did a, he did a stellar job. According to the FAA website, the plane is registered to Viola LLC, a company out of Covina. It flew out of El Monte and was headed to Carlsbad. It came down about five miles from Palomar Airport. Southbound traffic was shut down, causing a massive backup. After a half hour, officials were able to reopen two lanes. And it will likely stay two lanes here on the southbound for several hours. You can see that plane here. We understand that the FAA and NTSB will be taking a look at it. We're told they will have to drain the fuel, then remove the wings of the plane before they can tow it out. As of now, we have not been given a timeline yet, a timeline yet on how long that will take. We're reporting live tonight, Anthony Pura, 10 News. Incredible. Everyone walked away from that plane crash. Thank you, Anthony. What a scene. All right, Anthony, thank you. Last year,